Hi, this is Moad from JB Academy. In this video, we're going to talk about lesson 12 2 in grade 5 make line plots. So, our objective will be today, by the end of the lesson, students will be able to make a line plot to solve problems. But the question is, how can we make a line plot or how can we construct a line plot here I will show you this example this example is very important because it gives us a complete and deep understanding of the lesson the dogs in Bolina's pet shape shop have the following weights the weights are in pounds how can you organize this information in a line plot? Now, in a previous lesson, we have discussed what we mean by line plot. So, first of all, we need to uh, organize the data to be easier to use. Uh, the, the step or the steps are uh, divided into two steps, or the first step and second step. In the first step, we organize the data. So how we organize the data? We can use one of two ways. Write the weights from least to greatest. So it will be easier for us then uh, to uh, compare them and to put them in the line plot. You can also organize the data in a frequency table. This is very important because frequency is how many times a given response occurs. What I mean, here, six, how many dogs we have that they weigh, uh, they weigh six, we have two dogs. Seven, one over four. So from, the, from here, we can know that we have one. So when we make frequency table, this can remind us of the dots, how many dots we need to graph. Here, the third one, eight and half. How many values? We have eight and half. We have three values. So we write uh, three here. Frequency is three. Three, here is the frequency. It means how many times uh, the given response, which is eight half uh, occurs. Now the next one, is 11 and half once and the last one 12 1 over 4 we have uh, 5 we have 5 so now in the second step we will start making the line plot so because because we have quarters so we draw a number line but we have to be careful we have to include the least and the greatest the least and the greatest values in the line plot so here the least value was 6 and the greatest value was 12 1 over 4 so I start the line plot uh, by 5 and uh, I finish it by 13 here now the least I go to the back to the frequency table or the values which are organized from least to great uh, least to greatest so six how many six we have how many dogs weigh six we have two dogs so we put two dots up to the six look the intervals here we have quarters we have here quarters because we have here values with quarters. Now the next value, seven and quarter, or so seven one over four. So we have one value, seven one over four. Here we put one dot, and we continue like this for eight and half, and for eleven and half, and for twelve and one over four. We have five dots. So we put five dots here 
and after that we write the title weights of dogs and here we write the measurement by inches or by pounds so here we know this means seven pounds here means six pounds so here it means how many dogs six pounds how many dogs 12 pounds or 12 1 over 4 now let me also discuss with you here another example now question number one in the line plot of dog weights on the previous page what does each dot represent let me go back to it so each dot represent what it represent a dog or what it represent the weights of the dogs so here let me go back to this here six how many dogs we have six two so here in this example we talk about the weight of one dog or we can say one dog weight or the dogs or the dog weight so here we talk about the dog uh, weight in a line plot how do you uh, determine the value to show on the number line it's very important question when you draw the number line you have to be careful about the intervals as you can see here 0 1 2 3 for example I should include the least value and the greatest value what I mean look at this example here the least value three and half and the greatest value is eight one over two so in this example I can start the number line by three so three and a half will be included and I finish it uh, with eight uh, with nine so eight and half will be included this for example so then because we have quarters so we make interval intervals of quarter of one over four so if you put here three here you put four so we put here four bars between three and four so here will be three one over two and until the, the uh, nine we reach the nine five will be six and seven so by this chance uh, I'm trying to uh, draw the line plot so just let me be more organized let me be more organized if I draw the number line here for this example I apply in this example if I draw the number line I make it from 3 to 9 then I put 4 5 6 7 and 8 and 9 of course when I want to represent three and half it's here three and half just I will tell you how many frequency the frequency is two so uh, we, we talk here about weights of pumpkins so this will be the title it's by pound see so here we have to write pounds and this will be the title here three one over two we have two tallies so we have two pumpkins uh, weight uh, uh, three and a half so we have to put here uh, two dots and we continue the same way seven we have four dots for example here the seven one two three four by this way I think it's very clear now for you my friends how to draw how to make 
how to organize the data sets and you uh, make a line plot to present uh, the uh, data set. That's all for uh, our uh, video for today. Thank you very much.